Hello and welcome back to another episode of Boomies Gameplay. In this one, we are going to be going over how to destroy Hammerman's HQ-35. To do this, we are going to use 5 landing crafts of tanks and Dr. Kaven and his Crystal Critter's ability. Now, as you can see, I'm not using any statues that give us bonuses for damage or anything like that, gumbo energy. Now, my tanks are level 2, my Dr. Kaven is level 6, and his ability is level 2. Now, I believe you can do this with only level 1 tanks. So, right when you upgrade your HQ to level 11, you'll unlock tanks, and you need a level 11 radar to unlock Hammerman's base. So basically, right when you unlock Hammerman's base, switch over to tanks, and you'll be able to take it out. So what are we going to be doing? We need to take out the boom cannon first, and then we're going to launch the tanks and cave in on this left side, contradictory to what most attacks do, and going over to the right side. So we're going to use a barrage and an artillery... And another artillery to destroy the boom cannon. I think I needed to use that other artillery. Maybe not. Launch the troops. Now they have three rocket launchers at a pretty high level. As well as three sniper towers. As long as Dr. Kaven can keep his healing up. And maybe use one crystal critter disability. Then we'll be just fine. And we don't need to really worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and pop an ability. I know we're going to lose a couple of tanks. So I'm not too concerned. But as long as we destroy the base. I will be happy. Here we go, we take out another sniper tower. The sniper tower is honestly really deadly towards our tanks. We're going to put a shock bomb there. Shock bomb two rocket launchers and a sniper tower. We lost the crystal critters, but that's okay. Hopefully we can destroy this. I care more about the sniper tower than the rockets. It's the sniper tower that's going to do all the damage. But as you can see, they have two, two cannons and two flamethrowers. When using tanks, you don't really care about flamethrowers, obviously, because they outrange them. But the cannons can still be a decent menace towards the tanks. So as long as we kill this rocket launcher, I think we can outrange the cannons. We don't have to worry about them at all. Especially since we'll just have a flare. We'll flare right here, just to make sure. Flare them towards the center of the base, and we're going to be able to do this without taking any casualties. Now, like I said, we're using level 2 tanks, so if you want to destroy this base as soon as possible and use level 1s, I believe you can. I did it. Um, I lost two tanks, but I didn't even like really orchestrate the attack too well, so you can probably do it without losing any tanks. So now it just comes down to time, and hopefully these guys will take it out. I'm probably just going to cut to the end of the battle. And there we are. We're going to destroy the HQ with plenty of time left with these tanks. We end up having Dr. Kaven heal all of the tanks backed up to full health. And as you can see, Hammerman says, So you're angry now? Good. I sacrificed one base for the win of the, of the Psyche. Psyche. Okay. Next time we meet, I'll have a, another surprise waiting for you. Oh boy, I can't wait, Mr. Hammerman. So we take no casualties. We got a little bit of loot. The loot's not bad. Um, unfortunately, you get life crystal, crystals, which life crystals are actually pretty good. I think if you have like a masterpiece, it's not horrible, but... So there we are, we destroyed Hammerman's HQ level 35, once again using 5 tanks, 0 statues for boost, so go ahead, get out there and destroy that base.